We know that ministers have until 4pm today to provide all of that material or launch a legal challenge to the ruling. And that deadline is getting ever closer, isn't it? Yeah, it is indeed, but no sign that the government are going to move on any of this, Ellie. As you say, this relates to Baroness Hallett, who set up uh, that COVID inquiry, set up, of course, uh, by the government, uh, ultimately, who says that if she is to carry out the full scope of her inquiry, looking into the pandemic in its totality, including the political decisions made around things like lockdown, then she needs access to things like WhatsApp messages between Boris Johnson and other government ministers, as well as access uh, to diaries. Now, on the diary situation, we already know that the Cabinet Office have seen some of Boris Johnson's diaries and reported them to two police forces that are looking into alleged lockdown breaking meetings in Chequers and Downing Street, something the former Prime Minister strenuously uh, denies. But on this point about access to the WhatsApp messages and to other diaries and the access by the inquiry, it must be said the government are backing, if you like, Boris Johnson on all of this. He says it's up, ultimately up to the Cabinet Office. But ministers feel this might set a bad precedent where, frankly, people do get access uh, to messages that they, some within the Cabinet Office would insist, are not pertinent at all uh, to the scope of the inquiry. Baroness Hallett says, that's my decision to make whether she thinks it's pertinent or not. Where could this end? Well, it could end, as you say, in the courtroom, in legal wranglings, which is quite extraordinary that you've got the heads of an inquiry set up by the government, potentially taking the very government itself to court. We'll have to wait until 4pm for confirmation, but it seems that's where we're heading. As for Boris Johnson, who was out uh, running with his dog uh, this morning, as I say, he denies any wrongdoing with the COVID uh, meetings in Jekers and Downing Street and also insists that it is up to the Cabinet Office to make these decisions, though notably his, he has changed his legal team, uh, a sign that he's not terribly happy with the way things are going at the moment.